Hi, my friends. How is everyone today? Good. Baby Echo and I are doing just fine. Thank you for asking. And let's go ahead and get ready for a warm up. You flew oo. You pupil you. You rule oo. E me e. You mule you. TCH catch ch. S bugs z. A safe a. A acorn a. And for our controls, U R burn er. O R horn or. I R bird er. E R her er. A R car r. Very nice job, my friends. And let's pick a few of our standard cards to review. S H sh O S T oast U N G ung. Okay, I think that'll be a good enough warm up for today, my friends. So I'm going to be building you a word, and I want to talk about the meaning of the word with you. Let me bring you a little bit closer here, my friends. Okay, what is our word? Dry. What does it mean? Give me some sentences. Mm -hmm. You could have a dry mouth. You could dry some clothes, dry the dishes. Mm -hmm. The weather could be dry out. Very good. So if I change it to dried, what do I need to do? Here's my ED ending, and we know the rule. The Y changes to the I, dried. What is that Y spelling rule? Who remembers it from yesterday? Come on, pretend that you have to teach it to your parents who might not know it, or your grandparents. And what would you say? Okay, good. And just to make sure that you remembered, when the Y is an open syllable at the end and you're adding a suffix, you change it to an I, unless the suffix starts with I. Very good. And the Y keeps the sound when it changes to I, right? So in this word, dry, it sounded like an I, it still does. Okay, I am going to make some more words for you to read. My syllable frames and take a look at this word. What does it say? Bring it a little closer. Dizzy. Yeah, dizzy. Now I'm going to change it to dizziness. I feel a lot of dizziness when I get off the teacup. What do I need to do here? Change the Y to an I. And what does the I sound like? It sounds like an E. That's right. So to mark this word, we would scoop dizziness. And the I, diz E, sounds like a long E. Very good. Let's erase that and try another one. Okay, try to read this word. What does it say, everyone? Funny. If I want to add the suffix s, that it's the sunniest day, what should I do? Go ahead, do it on your whiteboard. And then check your sign. What did the Y or the I say? Yeah, it sounded like long E. So put that 
macron over the top. Let's mark it. Sunniest. Sunniest. Okay. Put my sex frame away. Very nice. Next, my friends, we are going to have a word of the day that we need to enter into our student notebook. So grab your student notebook for me. And if you look through, you will find the tab that says vocabulary. That's where we put our words of the day. And the word of the day is dried. What we're going to need to do is add it to our notebook, mark it up, and write a sentence with the word dried. So go ahead and find the word D. And on the top line, you're going to write dried and mark it up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll write it here so you can check your work. Dried. And we scoop our syllable. It's an open syllable, and the I says long I, and we can circle our suffix, dried. And now let me hear your sentences with dried. Just a short sentence because it needs to fit on these two lines. I dried the dishes. Okay, I like it. If you have a different sentence, that's okay too. I'm going to make sure I start with an uppercase. Dried the dishes. What's the base word for dishes? Dish. And then when it sounds like is, what suffix ending is that? It's yes, because it's after an SH. I dried the dishes. Do you remember learning that? That was back in level one. Okay, let's go ahead and read it in your notebook. I dried the dishes. I dried the dishes. Beautiful. When you're finished with your notebook, we are going to end with a dictation today. So I need everyone to get out their whiteboard and Hair. Okay, we are going to start with three sounds. So you can go ahead and do one, two, three. You're going to need the whole line because these words, have, these sounds have a lot of different ways to spell them. Okay, let's start with the long vowel E. Repeat after me E. Right. All the ways to make that long E sound. You can pause here to complete that. Okay, your next vowel sound is I. All the ways to write long I. Pause here to complete that. And your third sound today is uh, repeat after me, uh, all the ways to do the short U sound, these, the first one, the long E, it could just be an E, right, like in me, it could be vowel consonant E, like in Pete, it could be a Y, like in baby, or the I could sound like a long E, like in Happiness, right? The I sounds like an E. Did you get them all? This is going to be on your test at the end of the unit, so make sure you know how to do these. Number two, the sound was long I. It could be just an I, like in an open syllable, hi. Could be I dash E, vowel consonant E, like in pine. Or it could be a Y, like in my. The Y sounds like I. Okay, and our last sound was the short U sound, uh. It could be an A, like in Alaska. At the end of it, right? A two-syllable word with A at the end sounds like uh. It could be an I, like in animal, right? Animal, the I sometimes sounds like uh. Or it could just be the short U, like in a word like up. Okay, my friends, let's erase the sounds. And let's go ahead and number it for some words. Okay. 
we will do three words. So you can go right down it. One, two, three. Have it look just like this. Okay. So for these ones, I want you to be writing base word plus suffix equals and write the complete word. Okay. Great. So repeat after me. Funnier. She's funnier than me. What's the base word? Good. So write base word. Funnier. What's the suffix? Do a plus sign. Suffix equals and write out the whole word. Pause here and then I want you to check this one before we go on. Okay, two more. Your next word is copier. What's the base word? Write it. Plus, what's the suffix? Write it equals copier. Pause here to finish that. Number three, trying. What's the base word? Plus, what's the suffix? Equals trying. Pause here to finish it. Okay, please mark your words. Scoop the syllables and then circle the suffix and label what the um, vowel at the end sounds like, if it sounds like an I or an E. Okay, pause here to finish that. Okay, you're back. Check, make sure, did you put a macron over the E or the I to make sure we know it's a long sound? Okay, take a look at mine. Does yours match? Fun me er. Sounds like an E. Cop e er. Sounds like an E. Try e. Sounds like a long I. Did you circle your suffixes? Great. Okay, my friends. Time for a few. Sound alike words. Let's do four. One, two, three, four. All right, I am going to give you a definition and you need to write what the sound alike word is. Are you ready? Okay. That was a scary witch at Halloween. Which number two? My son is only two years old. Son number three, which which sandwich would you like for lunch? Which and number four, your shirt is very plain. Okay, pause here to finish those, and you can check with mine. And last but not least, we will do one sentence today. Get ready to repeat after me. Do you like the tidiness of my desk? One more time. Do you like the tidiness of my desk? Pause here to work on that sentence. I need you to point to each word as I read it and check your work. Do you like the tidiness of my desk? Check for uppercase and check for punctuation. What kind of punctuation should it be? A question mark, yeah, it's a question. Check over your trick words. If you ever get stuck on your trick words, you should be looking in here. You have your trick word dictionary all filled out for you on the trick word pages to check. And then you have a couple words you should be tapping out. Tap out desk to check it and tap out tidiness to check it. Okay, pause here and check it all and fix any mistakes. Last, scoop it and read it smoothly. Do you like the tidiness of my desk? Do you? Is your desk neat? 
All right, keep reading it smoothly and we'll see you next time. Good